Hi guys, Korean Movie Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm going to recap a 2019 Korean action comedy movie, called The Dude and Me. This movie tells the story of an exchange of bodies between two men, a gangster and a high school student. This incident brings a huge difference in both their lives. So, will they be able to return to their original body? How could they survive a different life? Let's find it out. On a sunny day, Jang, the gangster, goes to grab some lunch at a ramen stall. For some reason, he doesn't eat his food and asks for the bill straight away. He is also forced to pay for the food eaten by a student sitting next to his table. After that, he drives somewhere. When he wants to cross a road, there are garbage men collecting waste from the neighborhood. And that makes him unable to pass through. This is where it all happens. When Jang is waiting for the garbage men, he decides to get out of the car to call his assistant, Chol. At the same time, Kim, the high school student, is standing on the edge of the rooftop. Then something unwanted happens, he falls from the rooftop and collides with Jang. Both of them lost consciousness and are taken to the hospital. A moment later, Jang wakes up from his unconsciousness. He gets out of bed and walks around the hallway. But, he finds something's wrong when everybody in the hospital calls him Kid or Kim. He is so confused, until he sees a man laying on a bed next to his room. He recognizes that man is him. When he looks at the mirror, he becomes more sure that he is living inside a kid's body. He keeps trying to convince everybody that he is not Kim. But, nobody believes him because the doctor says that he has retrograde amnesia. He then tries to bump this kid's body to his actual body in order to swap back their bodies, but he fails. And when he is doing that, Chul gets into the room and becomes angry when seeing this kid doing something inappropriate. Then, he is told to stay away or else Chul will beat him. Knowing that Jang can do nothing to get his body back, he is obliged to live as a high school student. He lives as the new version of Kim. The day he comes back to school, he experiences something he hasn't experienced before. He sees Hyun, his friend, being bullied by a group of friends. He is even being invited for a fight after school. But, this is not the Kim that everybody knows. This is Kim, with the heart of a gangster. He won't hesitate to beat everybody up. Jang becomes curious about why everybody is treating him like a loser. So, he plans to meet some bullies at a hill after school. He goes there with his friend, Jay. There, he asks one of the bullies if there's anything he has done that makes them dislike him. The answer is no, the reason is just because Jang looks like a loser. After getting the information that he wants, Jang and his friend leave the bullies. After that, Jang decides to meet Chul to convince him that he is his boss. He comes to the office where Chul works. Chul doesn't believe him at first. But, he knows how to get his assistant's trust. He tells everything that nobody knows about Chul, and it works. Jang then asks Chul why he was guarding his boss in the hospital. Then, a shocking truth comes out of Chul's mouth. He says that CEO, Jang's competitor, is trying to kill him. The next day after school, Jang is on a call with Chul. At the same time, Hyun runs into him and drops a doll. He decides to return it to her. When they finally meet, a startling moment happens. He sees that Hyun's mother is his ex-girlfriend, Sion, who he dumped for another woman. Moments later, Jang asks Chul for help to find out whether Hyun is his daughter. They take Hyun and Jang's hair to test their DNA. The result says that Hyun is 99% his daughter. He starts feeling so guilty that he couldn't be a good guy for Sion and their daughter. So, he consults with Chul about what he can do to approach Hyun and Sion. He is told that he needs to change his appearance. So he plans to lose some fat and groom himself. He first invites Hyun to work out together with a trainer, who is actually Chul. They consistently practice martial arts and jumping rope for months. Finally, he can see the result. His body becomes lean and looks fresher. Lastly, he starts to groom himself. He changes his hairstyle and uses a soft lens, so he doesn't need to use his nerd eyeglasses. The new look of Jang appears to be attractive. Many girls start to like him. And Hyun at the same time, starts to gain respect from the bullies. Sion is so thankful to Jang because he always protects her daughter. She invites Jang to her stall to eat ramen as a form of gratitude. When they're having a conversation, there comes a drunk guy who slaps Sion's private area. Jang becomes angry that he fights the drunk guy. At that moment, Sion starts to suspect him. She sees resemblance of Jang in Kim's words and actions. That makes Jang has to explain who he actually is. He tells the story of how he switched bodies, but Sion doesn't trust him. So he tries the same thing he did to Chul. 
He tells everything he did with Sion when they were still dating. Finally, Sion believes that she is talking with the man who left her. Sion becomes angry, she is so mad that he hasn't looked for her for a long time. She kicks Jang from her stall and tells him to stay away from her daughter. The next day, Hyun is sitting together with Jang right after school. She asks about what he was talking about with her mother. Her curiosity arose because her mom told her to not meet him anymore. While they are talking, one of the student councils approaches them. He asks Hyun if she wants to join his birthday party at his villa. Hyun accepts the invitation. She is happy that an outcast like her could join the party. While at the same time, Jang is meeting Sion. There, Jang plans to once again apologize for everything he has done. But, Sion thinks that he can't change anything. Sion has raised Hyun by herself and he doesn't have any rights to take care of her daughter. She also thinks that if this body exchange didn't happen, he would never look for her. So, she decides to leave Jang. But, as Sion is heading to the exit door, Jang chases her and kisses her right on the lips. And that makes Sion angry, she slaps him and wants to drag him to the police. When she is dragging Jang outside, Jang gets a call from Jay. Jay says that Hyun is in a bad situation, he was delivering meals to the girls that aren't invited to the party when he overheard that. Jang immediately leaves Sion and asks Chol to send him a car. He then drives to where the party is held. There, he sees Hyun is surrounded by the boys. He can feel that Hyun needs help. But, the boys don't let Hyun leave, because the party has just begun. Jang and the boys start to fight. Luckily, both Jang and Hyun have learnt martial arts before. So they can beat all the boys up and leave the villa. Jang is informed by Chul that Jang's wife has an affair with his competitor, CEO. So he writes a letter to the chairman, his wife's father. He tells the chairman that he is the victim and his wife has a conspiracy with another man. Suddenly, Kim wakes up from his coma. Kim is now living inside the gangster body. Then, he gets back to his house and meets his dad, Jiang. But Jiang doesn't believe that he is his son. Fortunately, Jang gets back home too. There, Jang and Kim meet for the first time after the collision. They explain to Jiang about what has actually happened to them. After that, they agreed to help each other. They plan to meet Sion at her stall. After they arrive, they lie to Sion that they have switched their body back. But, CEO and his assistants get in the stall. They look for Jang and try to kill him. Jang orders Kim and Sion to hide in the kitchen. He wants to get this problem done. He fights with CEO and the assistants. With Sion helping him, they succeed in throwing them out. Sion forgives Jang and is willing to accept him to get back to her life. The chairman invites Jang to his place. He wants to clarify about the letter that he sent. Seeing that Jang is the victim, he rather offers Jang to be his successor. But, Jang, who is actually Kim at that time, refuses it because he has no idea what to say. When Jang meets Kim, he appreciates Jang for his decision. He feels relieved that he no longer has to live a regretful criminal life. Unfortunately, his wife plans to hit them. But, as Jang is aware of the situation, he saves Kim and is hit by the car. He is heavily injured and taken to the hospital. When Jang is about to die, both Jang and Kim suddenly switch their bodies back. At the end of this movie, we are shown that Kim is still alive and Jang is back with Sion. Jang even bought a shop to build a bakery. They all work there with Jiang and Chol. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like and comment to help the channel out. Thank you for watching, and see you, next time.